Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you a little bit about um, the genetic code. So what I have here written on my whiteboard is the left half of a DNA molecule and if I ask you to complete the right side of the DNA molecule you should be able to fill in the bases that would bond uh, in the complementary base pairing fashion. So that's how you would um, complete that. C's and G's go together and A's and T's go together. And that's pretty simple. Now, when we start learning about protein synthesis, um, we usually use part of the DNA molecule to um, act as a pattern for transcription and translation. So let me just erase this part and let's say that we are using this DNA as uh, the beginning of transcription. And so this is half of my DNA molecule and I would like to know what mRNA is going to bond next to this DNA in the nucleus during transcription. So I would have a G for guanine, C, A, G, G, U, A, A, and G. So this is my messenger RNA. Messenger RNA comes into the nucleus and copies the DNA code. So that's my messenger RNA. And uh, the messenger RNA will now take this code out of the nucleus and it will arrive at the ribosome. So now let's say that that messenger RNA has arrived at the ribosome and transfer RNA is going to bond next to the messenger RNA. So that will be C, G, U, C, C, A, U, U, C. And that's my messenger, uh, that's my transfer RNA, excuse me. So this green, this is my transfer RNA. And I might ask, how many amino acids is this uh, genetic code going to code for? Basically, every three bases in a row is going to be carrying one amino acid. So this would code for a particular amino acid. This one would code for a particular amino acid. And then this one would also code for an amino acid. And you can actually look up on a table which amino acid um, is being carried by those tRNAs. When you use a table, it's probably going to be called a messenger RNA codon table. All right, And so we would want to read the codons from our messenger RNA. So my first codon that I'd want to look up is this one right here. This is my messenger RNA. I would want to look up GCA. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. So my first codon that I want to look up is GCA, and I might use a table like this. And so uh, you start in the very middle of the circle, and I would read the G for the first letter, C for my second one, and A for my third one, and I don't think you can really read this, but it is coding for the amino acid alanine. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. So G, C, A is coding for alanine. So that is what amino acid would be carried by this first transfer RNA that's in my sequence here. So the amino acid alanine would be attached to this transfer RNA. So that's alanine. And then I could look up the next one, GGU, on my codon chart. Let's do that together. GGU. I'll hold it a little closer here. So we start with G and then we go to G, and then we go to 
U, I'm sorry, GGU, and that is going to code for glycine. So glycine would be the next amino acid, and so on. So that's how you can code and decode with your DNA and your messenger RNA and your tRNA. Hope that helps.